Today, we have a tsunami. We have El Nino here in the state of Florida. And nothing stopping us from showing you the best-selling Winnebago B-Plus motorhome in the existence of B-Plus motorhomes. This is the 2024 Winnebago Navion slash View model is 24D. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're going to give you three things we love about the Navion and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Yes. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. We have El Nino here in the sunny state of Florida and it's not so sunny today, but nothing is stopping us from bringing you a video, especially on a special week like today. Andrea! Hi everybody! What are you wearing? I'm in the Christmas spirit today. Yes, ma'am. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas I think everybody. it's I think it's tomorrow, so I, Merry yeah, Christmas. I think it's pretty close. So yes. Merry Christmas. And guys, congratulations to the last bobblehead winner. Yes. We will be giving away another bobblehead. This video. Yes. So make sure you listen to the video and hashtag bobblehead when you hear the phrase that pays. Yes, ma'am. Without further ado, Andrea, let's begin. Model is Winnebago Navion 24D. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 25 feet 6 inches. This has the 3.0 liter V6 Mercedes engine, 188 horsepower, does sit on the Mercedes chassis. It has everything that you want lane assist, adaptive cruise control, and everything. Beautiful seamless fiberglass front cap right there, Andrea. And if you take a step back, this is the one that does not have the full body paint. Full body paint is optional on this motorhome. And bring the camera a little bit closer to you, Andrea, under the umbrella. Perfect. Uh, right here, look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. I love those. LT225-70. Oh, I can't even see it. 215-85R16. A seamless fiberglass front cap. Frameless window in the bunk, but over here you can see that it is a traditional window. Okay, right here we do have a seamless armless awning with wind sensor. So if the wind blows too hard, the awning is going to automatically retract itself back in. And what I love about these Navions is oh snap, they changed the door. They did. Well, I guess I don't love that about the Navion. We will touch on that a little later. Coming on down here, you can see that we do have these aluminum slam latch doors that raise up like that. Right down there, propane quick connect. If you do want to have a grill on the outside, give me a second, Andrea. Okay, hey, there's the your open. Onan 3600 propane generator. Yes, ma'am. Instant tankless hot Truma water heater. Yes, ma'am. I think I said it backwards, but they get me some storage there. And some more storage here. Yes, ma'am. And then these are very nice slam latch doors just like this. Shout out Rick Waldo at General RV of Ocala for providing me with the umbrella. He's always ready, even when I'm not ready. We do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Backup camera there and a 5,000-pound hitch. Now, these Mercedes chassis, I never recommend towing 5,000 pounds. You're going with about 4,300 pounds, but always know before you tow. And Matt, Winnebago is made with the Asdale. Yes, Winnebago uses Asdale for their sidewalls. Asdale is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Right here, we do have a black tank flush. Right over here is our water outlets, 30 amp power cords. Nice wet bay for it being so small. Yes, ma'am. And then right there, that's where you dump your tanks. And then coming on down, Right here is our potable water fill. Potable! Potable! Yes, ma'am. And then over here. Some storage under there, I think. Yes. Yep. And then the propane tank. And then, Miss Jen, if you could, please put all the specs. Bing! Right there for everybody who's watching on television. And let us know, did you guys get flooding from El Nino? You know, that's what they call this. Yes. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful water. Hey. I'll take a little bit of rain on Christmas over snow on sure. Christmas all day, every day. The outside of this motorhome looks giving away the bobblehead right now. Drop a comment down below. Let us know, Do you are you going to get snow Christmas? 
Drop a comment down below where you are or are you affected by El Nino like we are. Hashtag it bobblehead. We will select a winner for the bobblehead giveaway. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, Andrea. Let's go. Take a look. All right. Taking my time, guys, so he can get the door open for me. And he's going to take my umbrella. Yep. Hey, thank you. All right, look at this. Full wall slide is in. As you can see, there is plenty of walkway. So I'm walking through here. You can definitely open the fridge. And there is a nice rear bathroom. And it looks like we have the Murphy bed here. And while we get the slide out, out, let's take a moment to thank the sponsors of this video. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. You know, when we're inside of an RV, so many people comment that you're not supposed to spend all the time in the RV. You're supposed to spend your time outside the RV enjoying nature. Well, that's when El Nino comes. And you know what? <laughs> to have a spacious B-plus van like this, on a rainy day is pretty, pretty fan, fan freaking fantastic. Wouldn't you say, Andrea? I agree. I yes. mean, I agree with everybody what they're saying, but there's always with an exception, and El Nino is the exception. You ready, Andrea? Ready. We're getting started up here in the cockpit area. All right, Mercedes. Very nice. Everything that you want. The nicest driving motorhome in the industry. Obviously, it's Mercedes-Benz. It's diesel. It's smooth. It's nice. It's comfortable. Right here, engine oil. You're able to see everything. Right here, we have your cruise control, um, your phone activated. This is your navigation, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, camera screen, everything that you want right there. You got cup holders there, air conditioning control. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? I'm very comfortable. In fact, I feel like driving somewhere. Where? Even in this El Nino. You, yes, yes. How do you feel? How do you got leg space? I got plenty of leg space. I love this has a memory seat so you can program it. Yes. Way, because these seats do swivel. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it feels great. You know, it just feels like you're in a regular van. Exactly. Right here, we do have some lights. Right here, we have a sun visor and everything. And then above the cab, Andrea, we do have a bunk bed. Now this bunk bed, hold up, oh, show right there, Andrea. Oh. Look at those people picking up on Alliance Avenue today. Beautiful. Congratulations. Right here, Andrea, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab. Power USB, USB-C. Oh, and I do want to let everybody know, Andrea, um, we are not going to be representing Alliance at the uh, Tampa RV Super Show. That's a bummer. Womp womp. But guess what? What? Ocala is only 77 miles north of the show. And so if you're willing to drive 77 miles north of the Tampa show to save thousands of dollars on Alliance or on a Winnebago as well. We won't be selling Winnebagos at the, sh at the Tampa show. You, But you can always go to GeneralRV.com slash MassCash. And Matt, real quick, yes. uh, we did forget to mention that there is a ladder that goes there. And also, right there, there's a pedestal table that yes. goes there. Not only that, Andrea, there is two windows, all the power, and a privacy curtain right here, and a Max Air fan there. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I kind of wish the Max Air fan was a little more in 
for circulation and everything. I do see shades on the door, which is nice. Ah. Right there. Yeah, and they changed the dang yeah. door. Unreal that they, they did They took that. away the bug screen. Right over here, we do have very nice cabinetry. Okay. Good cabinetry. They do lock so they don't come open. Yes. And there is a nice um, LED light above. Give you that streamlined look. Yes. And I wouldn't say they don't come open, but it's a lot harder for them right. to come open. And then check out these valances. Andrea? Approved! Bing! Oh, Andrea loves these valances. And then I love this U-shaped dinette. This is super nice. Now, normally I put my foot up, but my feet are a little wet. Uh, right here, Andrea, these come up, and then you extend like that. Not only that, this table turns around. Not only that, this is a super strong seat for kids. Uh, you got plenty of space in here. This drops down to make a bed, but it's super comfortable. I wish our dinette was like this. Me too. Because truthfully, I'd be sitting here just like this, hanging out, having a good time, watching the TV. Now, the TV is kind of in a crummy place for the dinette. You can show it. Also a crummy place for the sofa, but it is right in the middle, so both the sofa and the dinette can see pretty much equally. You know what I'm saying? I like it better like that. There's pros and cons to it. Right here, we do have our daytime shades and our privacy shades. And then, Miss Andrea, show us this kitchen. Okay, I'm going to start. There's a cabinet right here, so I'm going to show this one. Oh. oh, that's not good. Dang. Almost. It almost hit my toe. You have to be quicker than that, Andre. You just stood there. Well, I stood there because, you know, I if I would have moved, yeah. it might have got my toe and it's already injured. Oof. So, yeah, I don't Thank like goodness for Chef Boy RD. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and there are uh, sink covers right there. Yes. Okay, so this is why. Hang on, hang on a second. Yes. Open that up. Show this sink. Okay. Very nice. It's a double sink with the extension. Yeah, and put put that at fire extinguisher in the sink. Okay. Yeah. Make sure that doesn't happen to anybody. Yeah. Man, I'm yeah, I'm gl was... I'm glad you're okay, Andrea. Yeah. It... I mean, that was that was a little too close. Were to you call. scared? No. I think General RV owes you twenty five dollars. <laughs> Not for 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 the uh for the thought of it oh, crushing your toes. Yeah, my toes. And you know what? Me. Winnebago, Winnebago, they better come with an apology note to Miss Andrea, <laughs> or we're gonna give them some big dislikes in the next video. So I love this really, really good storage here for yes. a trash can, that yes. little shelf there. And then of course, here's the TV with the sound bar. Yes. And then there is storage, it looks like underneath. Watch yourself, Andrea, there I might be know. a fire hydrant. Well, actually. Nice big window too. It does open. I know. For me, you gotta get over here more. So you got a paper towel holder right there, DVD a little player. shelf. Mm, very like nice. That. And then uh, we have good counter space in here though. Because yes. of that TV. Down here is the uh, convection microwave. Yes. And then a drawer. Very nice. A soft clothes. Another cabinet. Okay. There's your uh, inverter thing. And nice big window right here. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, two burner, oh, yeah, one burner induction, one burner propane, so it's giving you, you know, both. Yep. You got a big drawer. Wow. Soft clothes. I love soft clothes. Yes. And then one more down here. Oh, and then Andrea, guess yes. what? Tomorrow will be the last, at, last time you guys will be able to win one of the Prime Poop Position bobbleheads. Not tomorrow, but uh, two days from now, next, next motorhome video. So make sure you guys enter, especially if you want to win. Right here we have the Norco compressor refrigerator. Yes. Really good size. And then, um, can I show these real quick? Since we're right here. Absolutely. All right, look at this. This is good. I mean, if there, this could be pantry. See, this you could do clothes and pantry. Yes. So it's yes, nice that they did that. Of course. So you got the nice drawers here. Yes. And then under. Down see. under chocolate thunder. You got a little bit. See right there. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad they did that. Yes, ma'am. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. You ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here is $210,478, Andrea. MSRP. 
Sale price, the lowest we are legally allowed to tell you on a current model year for a Winnebago is 25% off to a sale pr to an everyday sale price of $157,999. That is a phenomenal everyday sale price. But guess what, Andrea? People are going to be headed to the Tampa show in a couple weeks. And they're going to see that and they're going to put Tampa show price. Guys, that's not a show price. That's our everyday price. And if you want to get a super show price or the absolute best price in a uh, the best price in America on a Winnebago, you guys know what to do. Go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us, America, because our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. And the best part about it, if you live throughout the country, one, we can get you the Navion or View, same thing. And then two, you can buy it from us, but then pick it up at our Richmond, Michigan, Utah. Salt Lake City stores. Just reach out to us, guys, if you want to get the best price in America on a Winnebago. You heard that here first. Andrea, check this out. So we got the sofa here. It's the sofa Murphy bed. How you doing? Right here, we do have a very nice sofa. It does come down to make a bed. We got a pedestal table right there as well. So you, you can actually set this up as a dinette as well, Andrea. This is not a comfortable sofa whatsoever. But it's not made to be a comfortable sofa. You, you know, it's a small motorhome. It's supposed to be a sofa by day, bed by night. Before we drop it down, look right there. Power and USB right there. And power and USB right there. And then all you do is go like this. Bada bing, bada boom. You come into the bathroom. Oh, we're back to the buttons. Just like that. Just like that. Watch your toes. For, for real. That yeah. was like a, I cringed. Uh-huh. Very, very nice bunk over the cab. With a nice head. I don't think here. our viewers understand my my daily life every day in my house. Like Merry I, Christmas. I literally stub my toe every day or walk into something and then I'm like, ouch, and then my kids start laughing at me. They're like, Did you do that again? Well, if you got a navy on so, Andrea, yeah. you're, you're over two. The next thing that goes for your toe is gonna hit it. I'm right. Telling I'm telling you now. Right over here, we do have hidden storage here. What's nice is this is hidden storage. You can put some of your valuables in here while the bed's up in transit mode because uh, the thieves, if they ever do break in, they won't know about the storage or they'd have to put your slide out out and then put your bed down. They, they, but they won't do all that. Not if they're thieves. Is this a queen size bed? Yeah. Okay. It looks well, it's kind big. Of, it's kind of like its own custom. It thing. looks big, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a nice bed. You got lights here, nice little cushion headboard and a window right there as well. To me, it looks bigger than a queen, but I guess you're right. Maybe because it's so small in here. And then you just put it up like that. Yep. And then put the legs back in. Click, click, boom. Very, very crafty. Just like that. And then right here, Andre, you see these rings? Yes. There is a curtain that was in there or somewhere around here. So you can section it off for privacy if Very you want nice. to do that. All right, Andrea, let's go in this bathroom. Going into the rear bathroom here. I like the LED lights on the floor. If you can see them underneath the cabinets. Good um, shower for somebody yeah, small. Not a bad step up. Good, good shower for somebody small. Like what you guys got to remember, this is, this is just a small unit, a small RV. So for me, it's totally fine. If you're a big person, you're definitely going to have some issues there. Okay, so, oh, oh yeah, there is a cabinet there. I didn't even notice that. It, wow. Okay. wow. There's your spare table and everything, There's too. There's your wardrobe. Yes. Your table and your seat covers. Yes. Your seat pads. That was hiding. I didn't even know that was a cabinet. And then, um, yeah, right here we got the medicine cabinet. Yes. And what's in there? Liquify. Oh, brand of RV toilet treatment, Andrea. You can get this on Amazon. Go to primepoopinposition.com, and guess what? You can now get it on Amazon.ca. Do you know what that is? What's that? That's Canada. Oh, we nice. We finally got permission to go to Canada. Now, Liquefied has been in Canada 
But they were selling it for like fifty to seventy five dollars a bottle. Womp womp. So we've now positioned it for the rest of the year. I believe it's only twenty U.S. dollars for Canada, which comes out to like thirty dollars or something like that Canadian dollars. Plus, but it's twenty dollars a bottle. But you got to pay like an import fee. But it's still significantly cheaper than, than what those other guys right. at fifty and seventy five Canadian dollars for it. So. Guys, huge announcement for Canada, and we will be putting the price in to Canada back to twenty four ninety nine U.S. dollars. You'll then have to pay that additional shipping via Amazon, but we will be doing that sometime next month, back to normal prices. So if you live in Canada, I do apologize. It took us about a year to get into Canada, but um, you can now get it. So pick up a bottle if you're in Canada and save yourself. Pretty much ten bucks, five bucks. Good like window that. right there by you. Uh oh, let me see your feet. I mean, don't don't look at my feet. Well, I have to. <sighs> Andrea, this is not a prime pooping position. It is a plastic toilet. Womp womp. Oh no. Right there, we do have a nice little sink or uh, storage under the sink. Cute pocket door. Oh, and Andrea, we did not show. Oh yeah, sink. we forgot about that. Cute little rectangle sink. Yep. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like. Andrea, what do you want to do first? This is tough, Matt. Um, Let's do three things we dislike about it first. You know, it is tough because I didn't think about any of them. But, Andrea, my first one's outside, so go ahead and show everybody. Okay. so No, outside. Oh, no, no. I'm not going outside. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I have number one and two. <laughs> Andre, dislike number one for me is going to be those upward swinging baggage doors. We do not like them. We like the sideways swinging baggage doors. And I could have sworn Winnebago used to do that. So I don't know why it's the vertical up. Don't like those styles of doors. Do love the aluminum doors on the outside. But for me, that's dislike number one. Andre, dislike number two for me is going to be this door. They used to do the aircraft style door. I love the doors that the Winnebago's used. And now this is just a cheaper door. I get why they're doing it. It's 210 MSRP. It'd probably be 214 if they did that style of door. But again, I really like that about the Navion's views. So that's just like number two. Then Andrea, what's just like number three? Number three for me is going to be the placement of the convection microwave. Talk to me. Um, not a good place. I know there's not much you can do in here. But for me, bending up and getting down and bending up and getting down, just not good. Hang on a second. You said bending up and getting yeah, down. Yeah, they know what I mean. Bending Isn't it down. bending down and getting yes, up? Yes, bending down and getting up. I mean, Will has to bend up and then get down. <laughs> oh, my god! But, Andrea, you're my height. You don't need to bend up. That's just like number three. Okay, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. If you don't mind, I'd like to go first, Andrea. Sure. Love the U-shaped dinette. This U-shaped dinette's fantastic. It's comfortable. It's almost more like a sofa dinette, and it's real. It's practical. People can actually sit around here and be comfortable, but you can also lounge here as well. That is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two for me is going to be the placement of the TV. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hear me out. You're I, lucky it's the holidays. I like the placement because one, I get so tired of it always being in the bunk. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I can see that. Yeah. That's where it would be. Okay. Unless they had it on a televator or something, but that's actually a good spot place for it. I mean, it's in the middle of both. Okay. And it's good for like here, you know, I'd much rather have it here than the bunk. 10, four. Let me know what you guys think. That's number two. And then number three is going to be the Murphy bed. Um, the sofa sucks. The bed kind of sucks, but in the bed doesn't suck. The bed's actually nice. Sofa does kind of suck, but in a small motor home like this at 24 feet long, good for state and national parks, a hundred times better than a B-Van. To have a huge U-shaped dinette, a sofa, and a permanent bed. Well, not a permanent bed, but a bed that doesn't have the fold in it. I absolutely love those features. Andrea, and that is why the Winnebago View and Navion is super popular. And that's why it's going to sell extremely well the week of the Super Show. But Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're planning on buying a Winnebago in the month of January... Please reach out to my team at generalrv.com slash matscash. I promise you guys, we will, I guarantee you, 
you will get a better price than any RV show that you head to because our prices and our partnership with Winnebago as General RV is the absolute best in the country. Go to GeneralRV.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from MattsRVReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Again, the sale price that I said, that's our everyday low price, but we can get you an even better price on this RV or any RV. Please reach out to my team. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Diego does read the comments. They do watch the video, so please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, what?